If you have not watched my video, The History of Fox Kids, yet, I highly suggest you watch it before watching this video, as it provides much context behind the subject of this video, and you will understand this video more if you do. I also recommend my Jetix video. Links to both are in the video description. I say this because the subject in question is 4Kids TV. I touched on it in both videos mentioned earlier, but in this video we will go more in-depth with this network. I grew up watching Jetix instead of 4Kids TV or Foxbox, but I wish I had watched those blocks as well because Jetix may have been an awesome replacement for Fox Kids, but 4Kids TV was a more direct successor. Unfortunately, it didn't live as long as Jetix, being killed one year earlier in 2008. How did this happen, and what happened after it was killed? In this video, we're going to find out. Seven days after what remained of the poor Fox Kids block was finished off on September 7th, 2002, Foxbox was launched. Foxbox aired on Saturday mornings, filling the void that Fox Kids left behind, and acquired many of the shows that Fox Kids used to air, as well as adding some new shows such as Kirby Right Back At Ya, Stargate Infinity, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Winx Club, Sonic X, One Piece, and Back to the Future the Animated Series. On January 22nd, 2005, the block was renamed 4Kids TV because 4Kids Entertainment was in charge of the block and collected all ad revenue from it, even though Fox's Standards and Practices Department was in charge of approving shows. On October 2nd, 2007, 4Kids Entertainment announced that the free-to-air channel The CW would be getting a 4Kids block of its own called CW4Kids. What a mouthful. It first aired on May 24th, 2008, replacing Kids WB and ending the run of that brand. And by the way, we will be talking about Kids WB in a future video. CW4Kids was renamed Toonzai for obvious reasons on August 14th, 2010, and was discontinued just over two years later on August 18th, 2012. As for 4Kids TV, on November 10th, 2008, 4Kids Entertainment announced that it would be discontinued by the end of the year due to 4Kids not paying Fox the time lease for a while, and conflict between the network and Fox affiliates over carrying the block. Sound familiar? 4Kids TV was officially discontinued on December 27th, 2008, but it soldiered on until January 3rd, 2009, when it was replaced by Weekend Marketplace, which is a block that airs infomercials. It's a shame that Fox was never able to get a solid footing in children's programming. The world was stacked against it, from fierce competition from its rivals including Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, to conflicts with 4Kids Entertainment and its own affiliates, the latter of which especially haunted it to the very end. All of this must have seemed like a crushing defeat for Fox. But, failure or not, 4Kids TV and its related networks gave 90s kids and 2000s kids alike great memories that will live on forever. Let me know in the comments, do you remember 4Kids TV or Foxbox? What do you think Fox could have done in order to make a successful children's brand? Anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.